In today's video, we're opening a product you've probably never heard of, the Super Edition. What's up guys, we're back with another video opening some random Yu-Gi-Oh products. You guys always like when I open random stuff you've probably never seen. And I'm talking in a weird voice because I had to burp, but I didn't do it. So congratulate me in the comments. We have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these cards. These cards were actually from a previous video. Uh, so just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below. Have you heard of a super edition? There was only a couple of sets where this thing existed. If you have, pat yourself on the back. If you haven't, let me know in the comments. All right, so I have eight special super editions. I want to call them special editions because they're basically special editions. But the big difference is instead of having like one or two or four different promo cards, there's 14 different promo cards in here. So it's kind of a lot of options. So you open this up and you really have no idea what you're going to get besides the fact that you're going to get three packs. So three booster packs of Secrets of Eternity. So go ahead and type in the uh, the copy pasta, because whenever I search for Secrets of Eternity price guide, the first option that Google autofilled for me was Secrets of Eternity copy pasta. So congratulations all the Yu-Gi-Oh! Twitch people for that. And Simo on his uh, progression series. So here we go. Secrets of Eternity. Let's open this thing up. Let's see if there's anything. I mean, I don't even know what to expect from these promos. There's 14 of them. I don't even know. What, what are we going to get here? It's a uh, void launcher. I mean, pretty inconspicuous. Nothing like insane there. I mean, it's just a super rare. I and mean, I guess it is super edition. So a super rare makes sense. All right. That leaves us three packs. The cool part about super editions is just like special editions. These are completely random packs. So we could have like three ghost rares in a row for all we know. I mean, it's there, there's no ratio to these to these packs. So that's going to make this an exciting opening and a fun opening. I always love openings that have random ratios because usually it costs a little bit more per pack to get stuff like that. Like you buy a blister at Walmart, you buy a special edition slash super edition, whatever, which in this in these case, maybe not because they actually save you a little bit of money sometimes. But the ratios being random makes it super fun versus like a booster box, though. Yeah, they probably don't save you money versus a booster box, to be honest. There we go. The Oppo Cleefort Sky Base. Yeah, these are long names and crazy names, but we have an ultra rare right off the bat. So pretty huge machine card. It's a giant base that like attacks you, I guess. So pretty intimidating. Not gonna lie. I would be I'd be pretty scared if, that, if I saw that coming. Pretty scared. OK, let's go. One, two, three from the back. Let's see what we can get. Can we get a ghost rare toy night? As I said, it's completely random ratios. This mic is pointing a weird way. There we go. OK, Attendale. Sorry, editor. I just changed the position of my mic. I'm sure you got it fix the audio for somehow now readiness we have overload and uh oh another super two for two on foils we have 24 total packs today so if we go 24 for 24 i don't think anybody's gonna be angry especially not me let's see third pack unlimited secrets of eternity as i've said many times this set is where i pulled my very first gauche rare the malakota netherlord of the burning abyss not a crazy expensive card in unlimited i think it's about 15 20 bucks something like that but i would not be mad at all to pull that again just reminisce on the old days the very first time i pulled a ghost rare we opened it i had like two cases of this set it was like I OK, no, go, I'm not going 24 for 24, unfortunately, but I had two cases. There were these were three hundred dollar cases at the time, which if you know anything about Yu-Gi-Oh cases, that is literally like 50 percent. No, no more than that. That's like it was like three something. It was like three thirty maybe. But like it, the lowest you're ever going to get a case is like if the case sucks, it's like six, six, sixty, six, seventy five. And that's like if the case is terrible and it's already been out for a while. Brand new cases are like seven hundred, eight hundred, stuff like that. So to be able to get a case for 300 ish dollars was ridiculous. That's why I jumped on it and bought two of them uh, and then ended up pulling the ghost rare, of course, because it's one every case. I don't even remember what I did with the other case. I might have just sold the boxes individually. Lightning Rod Lord, that is our second promo, one of two of 14, I should say. But yeah, that's how I pulled my first ghost. I was like, I'm going to guarantee that we get this thing. I'm pretty sure I opened them all in one video, too. It was like, I don't think we did lives very much back then. So I was just like, Opening packs so I get the ghost, so I get a ghost rare, and I just open packs until I got a ghost rare shift. Golden Ford uh, form, not Ford. Uh, good, that'd be interesting. They had a car in there. We have a Necro Cycle or a truck. And uh, Void Law. Whoa! The Super Edition! There's a limited ed and an unlimited ed. My ed, I mean edition. Limited edition here. That's the one you get in the promo pack. You can pull the card too. That's kind of goofy. Same rarity. The only difference is limited edition versus unlimited edition. And there's also a first edition. That's going to make th this is just that's strange right there. So if, if they're all pullable, then maybe all the supers you can get 
out of the Super Edition? That is so strange. It is called Super Edition though, so it makes sense that it's based around Super Rares, but very weird. I, I was, okay, I didn't remember that. Last minute cancel. I know a lot of things about, about how packs work in the TCG. That's something I didn't really realize. I probably did maybe at some point, but I do not now. Explosive. I have not opened a lot of Super Editions, to be honest. Uh, Dragon Downster and uh, Cleefort Stealth. Okay, so I'm assuming this isn't one of the promos. It's an ultra rare, but who knows? I like these because they're like, they're like invisible. Like they're like part, you can see part of the ship thing. And then there's like the full thing. That's pretty awesome. They're, here's what I don't like. They're pendulums. So that kind of counteracts that pretty hard. Okay, Secrets of Eternity. Here we go. By the way, I opened uh, every a pack from every year, like an old school pack from basically every year. Uh, we did multiples on some, like Turbo Pack was open, Champion Pack was open. Go check that video out. Uh, didn't really do that well randomly. I mean, sometimes YouTube's just like, nope, not going to do well. So I feel like a lot of you guys would like that video. So go check that out. Uh, it was a few days ago at this point, but if you have not seen it yet, go check it out. Uh, open every from 2002 to 2024. Uh, pretty cool. Twinkle, we opened a lot of rare packs. Uh, Dragoons, we opened a lot of destruction, by the way. So go check that out. We have a uh, Zen Mayday. Okay. So we're now three, three for six, four for six. Wow, we're doing pretty good. Super edition number Tress. Let's see what this promo is going to be. Is it going to be one we've already pulled? We've had two supers. So will it be the uh, good and evil in the Burning Abyss? Let's see if that's it. No, Infernoid Antra. I think that this does have a super in here as well. So I'm starting to think there's 14 supers in this set and they're all in there as promos as well. Pretty interesting. Morphtronic. There we go. Got Morphtronic at it again. We have the Illusion Balloons. Super Heavy Samurai Soul Piercer. Perform a pal calls. Morphtronic Smartphone. The smartphone. There he is. There's the iPhone. Performer Pal Fire Muffa Lion. Muffer Lion. We have Zuzik. We have the Shift. Quacky Mirror Overload. And Da 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 Witch. Very cool. Secrets of Eternity. Let's keep it going. Here we go. What can we do? One, two, three. We have Deskbot 003. Part Naga. Last Minute Cancel. The ri Last Minute Cancel. Why did I feel like that was. I don't know. Ritual Beast. We have Rise Falcon X Blossom. Fire Muffer Lion, we have Frontline Observer, and the Void Seer. So, another super. We're going to have to see if we get that one as a promo. I'm just going to be keeping an eye out. Another foil has been pulled, so we have not gone over yet in one of these special editions, which is always great. Gym Knights right there. A little Gym Knight action. I think there are some Gym Knight ultis in here, which would be pretty awesome. We bought some for our 1K investments. So that's that's always cool. Friend Donkey, we have Goo Goo Talisman. We have Got Him Second Call, and Dragoonity Divine Lance. So, nothing in that one fourth super edition very strange product now that i realize kind of how it works so the promos of like old special editions like non-super editions they used to back in the day just reprint secret rares okay cleef uh self cephalopod cephalopod okay that makes sense kind of weird because i have a lot of those we have a lot of that deck now uh probably i don't know i never played it but the weird thing yeah they would reprint secrets like straight up it'd be like gemini elf in secret and lon was reprinted in an ioc special edition so that thing would be like uh you know just a i think it was an ultra in there so they would just do that and they would just go next set and they would reprint the one after lon they would just do all of them like all four there would be four no no they would do four and two secrets from two different sets so they would do all the secrets from two sets Oh, the Lapis Lazuli. That's a good one. And the Malakota and the Lord of the Burning Abyss. Secret rare. This comes in Ghost Rare as well. And maybe an ulti as well. Does it come in an ulti? Okay, I can't find this thing, but oh no, there's a secret rare. So maybe it doesn't come in an ulti. Yeah, because back in this era, they only did four ultis a set. So very, very rare. Uh Satellar Knight, Constellar Diamond is one. So uh Necroz, I see Susanowo. And then maybe one more, probably. There's a there's a Caius in here. I didn't really realize that. So first secret rare. This is probably a decent card as well for gym knights. Pretty awesome. Okay, two packs left. Let's see what we can do. What can we pull? One, two, three. We have the level lifter. Last minute cancel. Illusion balloons. Echo oscillation. Perform about stamp turtle. A classic. Uh, what do you call that meme card? Uh, gym knight lapis. We have farfa. And a Swordsman of Revealing Light. I forgot that Swords of Revealing Light had like a monster after it. It's kind of crazy. Zero attack, 2400 defense. What is the effect on this thing? When your opponent's monster declares a direct attack, you can special summon this card from your hand. Then if its card's defense is higher than the attacking monster, destroy the attacking monster and exceeds monster that was summoned using this card on the field as it exceeds, gains its effect. Each turn the first charge of the card will be destroyed by battle is not destroyed. So it's a hand trap that you can then make a, what is this, a rank eight out of three... Yeah, it looks like an eight. So you can go hand trap, destroy it if it's under 2,400. Then you make a rank eight with this thing and it has the ability 
to uh, not be destroyed by battle uh, once. So if it was not be destroyed in general, that would be a lot better. But being destroyed just by battle is a little bit niche. So these days, you know, battle is not that big of a part of a lot of you know, some metas that comes around. But a lot of times it's just like you're just popping it with like different effects and stuff. But if that was like not be destroyed at all, that would actually be kind of a cool card. But then it's a battle trap to get it on the field anyway. So me. But either way, cool card. I mean, Swords of Revealing Light. I mean, if you're playing that in like a playground setting, that card's probably cracked, you know, to get out your favorite rank eight or whatever. And then you're just like, they're attacking directly. They think they're safe. And then BAM! Swordsman of Revealing Light. Double Trap Hole we have Attendell. Now I'm making myself want to play a little Master Duel. It's been like a year since I played Yu-Gi-Oh! Really. Uni Zombie. I have played a little Edison, but uh... Okay, Rampango. But yeah, sometimes, you know, you just read a random crappy card and you're like, you know what, I could really... I would be, I would be fun to play with, you know? <laughs> That just that's just how it goes for us Yu-Gi-Oh people. Even though I'm not the biggest Yu-Gi-Oh player compared to most people, Lightning Rod, we got another one of those. Sometimes you just get the urge. You just want to play it. Problem is on our streams, I have so much going on with Pokerux. Like the Pokerux channel, it takes a lot of streams to get like one video out. So it's like if I take one off, I'm like slowing down the video production, which I really enjoy making those videos. So it's not like it's like a burden or anything, but that's why I just don't play much Yu-Gi-Oh anymore. Uh, Jacobite because the Yu-Gi-Oh stuff it comes and goes like I sometimes I don't want to play at all sometimes I really want to so I just end up not most of the time but who knows maybe uh, if I can get some videos up on that channel I did get one I put one up about three weeks ago it's doing pretty well so go check out Poker Rucks. we're almost at like we're like 6200 subs which is pretty awesome on that channel there's another meme card so I'm pretty excited that we're doing that well we have a uh, but go check it out if you haven't already like Pokemon challenge content and uh, Marmon and Captain, so nothing in that one. It's gonna be our first dud of a super edition. I hope not. Oh, okay, pack, chill out. Okay, one, two, three. We have Spiritual Beast, Rampanga, Trap Hole, Fernoid, Raid Raptor, X Blossom. We have Muffer Lion, Go Go Golden Golden Form, Dragon Downster, and a call, Perform a Pal Call. That is a, I think, our first over. We did still get the uh, the promo though, so there's that. All right, three left. We have a uh, skilled blue magician. That is a pretty cool card. I'm pretty sure that's pullable in here as well. So weird that they're all promos. I'm just weirded out by this. Uh, but you know what I won't be weirded out by? A ghost rare. Yeah, you guessed it. Spike Eagle, Requilate. That has got to be a Cleefort card with a QL. We have Reload, Shift, Twinkle. I feel like the way I say Cleefort just sounds wrong. Doggy Driver. If there's a different way to say it, let me know. Or is it just, is that just it? Is it just pronounced like that? Here we go. Two packs left in this super edition. This unknown Yu-Gi-Oh product. Very weird. We have Pendulum Shift. We have Twinkle. Echo Oscillation. Poor Val Stamp Turtle. Another one. Another one. We Lapis Lazuli. Last time we pulled this, we pulled Malico to Secret. Let's pull the ghost now. Not that time. Infernoid Piate. Okay, Secrets of Eternity. Let's do this. One, two, three. We have uh, Last Minute Cancel. Dragoonity, Divine Lance, Spike Eagle, Oscillation, Stamp Turtle, Extra Net. We have Gem Knight, Lapis, uh, Libich, and uh, Infernoid Antra, another super. Did we get that one as a promo? We did. Okay, so yep, it looks like all the supers are an option. Two super editions left. We have pulled quite a few foils. I mean, it's been good foil wise. We have not pulled an ulti, which I did say there are only four in the set, but I didn't mention how hard those are to pull. Usually when I open that case going for the ghost rare, I realized just how hard those ultis were to pull. They're not like one per box. They're like one per, I mean, one every few boxes. It was like every three or something. Void launch. I feel like we've gotten, we got that in super. We got that in promo twice. It's just everywhere. We got a play set. I mean, if you were trying to pull like play sets back in the day of these cards, you were probably super happy because it made it a lot easier. Attendell gnomes but you know it's only the low rarity they didn't do it with the secrets or anything go go talisman smart fawn uh lapis azuli and uh thunderclap skywolf okay strange card thundercap thunderclap skywolf i've never heard of that card so thunder who would have thought few packs left five packs left in the opening come on guys let's get something crazy here we have vanishing lanius soul piercer magat suzuchi we have wall of disruption classic dual links card we have Virtual Beast Ambush, UA Block Backer, and the Performal Pal Spike Eagle. One pack remaining in this special edition. Super edition, not special edition. I keep forgetting. It's not the same thing. It has the weird promos. I think I like the special edition promos, but well, here's the thing. If they're good, but the problem is a lot of the special edition promos suck. So maybe having more options is good. The weird thing is, you know, you're kind of like taking away from the supers in the set already, which you're probably going to pull pretty easily. They're not guaranteed, so... It's like a one step before guaranteed promos, you know? 
Uh, Yosinji Magat. Yosinju. I said you see Yosinji. That's different. Okay, last pack. Three packs, one promo. Will it be a promo we've already pulled? Will it not? Let's find out. We have... Oh, uh, okay. There's the Susanoo. This comes in an ultimate rare as well. So you get the super promo print. You get the super regular print. You get the super first ad. You get the ultimate first ad. Ultimate unlimited. There's so many prints of that now. Okay. All in one set. Pretty insane. We have level lifter. Lifting those levels. Raid Raptor. Zen Mayday. X Blossom. Fire Muff a Lion. Golden Form. Capella. We have Void Expansion. And Void Seeker. That's a pretty cool artwork. I'm not going to lie. I feel like we pulled that in the promos earlier. Two more packs, guys. If you guys have enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel because, you know, why not? We subscribe. If you're watching the video, you've enjoyed it. You've made it this far. You might as well hit subscribe. A lot of you guys are subscribed at this point, but a lot of you guys aren't, surprisingly. Pendulum Shift. So give it a check out. We've got 1,500 plus videos. A lot of awesome stuff. Infernoid Patrulia and even better pulls than we've had today on a lot of them. So which we've been pretty decent, but we've had much better in the past. We've got some good stuff. Here's Last Back Magic, Secrets of Eternity. Here we go. In honor of Simo, Farfa, MBT, all of the big fans of Secrets of Eternity, what will we pull? Despot 003, we have Partnaga, Last Minute Cancel, give us a Ghost Rare, Swordsman, Friend Donkey, Talisman, we have Smart Fawn, give us those iPhones, Doggy Driver, and a Satellar Knight, Rigel. That is a super rare. Not a bad way to end it. We pulled a lot of supers, which makes sense out of a super edition. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Puff and Zudum, Ernesto Dan, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Nutter Sai Show, Ian Moose, Junior Barning, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Chang Lang, and Aldelso Galicia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.